this will be the biggest year of bowling for me. Joining the PWBA tour for my rookie season. Take me to Candyland. Ooh, take me to Candyland. Sweeter than sugar, you doing that dancey dance. Today I'm going to film my bowling goals for 2022. I thought this would be cool to film, to look back on, to start my goal setting for the year and just really plan out my year with what I have to do to achieve my goals. One thing I want to try to do with this video is not only record outcome goals, but also kind of the process, what I'm going to do to achieve those goals. I think this is really exciting because, in my opinion, this will be the biggest year of bowling for me. I am hopefully across my fingers joining the PWBA tour for my rookie season, which is really exciting. I mean, even just saying that, this makes me smile because that's been my goal since the relaunch of the PWBA tour. And my dream is to be a professional bowler, so it's really exciting. So I guess that kind of kicks it off. My first goal is to win my first PWBA title. I know that's very ambitious, but I mean, with competing week in and week out, I'll have multiple opportunities to do so. And I just believe I'm at the point of my game where that's attainable. Along with that, uh, my second goal is to be the PWBA Rookie of the Year. This is really the only year I have to go for that goal as if I'm bowling week in and week out, I will get my PWBA membership card, which makes me eligible for that award. So that's a big one. I'm not going in any order here because my third goal is to win another national championship with Wichita State Bowling Team, my teammates, which will obviously occur before the PWBA season begins. And again, another attainable goal. It's what we work towards every year, really. We train for it throughout the year without even realizing we're training for it. We're really just training to be better athletes in general, and that's an attainable goal. Another outcome goal, kind of hoping that I get to compete at an international level again, will be an international gold medal. I won my first medal in general on the world level this year with the bronze at Worlds, and so naturally to improve on that the goal is gold. The goal is gold. I know there's a list of kind of potential tournaments for the 2022 season. I don't know exactly which tournaments our federation will be sending us to. Obviously with COVID everything changes on a daily basis. You don't know what's going to change tomorrow, you know. Those are four big goals. Um, PWBA title, rookie of the year, national championship, and an international gold medal. I think those are really the big ones for me. Those are important to me, not only because of the accolades, but just uh, what they represent. I guess the hard work they represent, the training they represent, because those will not come easy. So the process of getting there, I think, is really continuing to do what I'm doing now, as well as capitalize on it and make it a bit more intense, if you will, just a bit more frequent, a few more repetitions of the different things that I'm doing to try and get better, which is on lane, off lane, mental, in the kitchen, in the gym, you know, there's a lot of things that come into play there. So beginning with on lane, I think it will be a lot of improving versatility, um, capitalizing on the things I do well now, as well as trying to get better at the things I struggle with. Which, if you're a frequent watcher, viewer of my videos, you know, is get left, slow down, hit a harder, get around it. Those are my weaker points. And it's exciting because I've seen a dramatic change in my rev rate and my kind of normal game throughout the year that I really didn't realize until comparing old and new videos. And if you haven't seen my 10 year bowling transformation, I'll link that in the bio because it's just really cool to see over the years, even in a short period of time, how much your game can change. So that's the first thing is improving versatility. I think continuing to shoot a lot of spares and continuing to dedicate certain practices just to shooting spares because it's a lot of pins in spares, like especially makeable spares. Missing a couple of those a week on the PWBA tour can cost you a check. And when you're bowling for a living, the money isn't the main motivator, but it's something you gotta try to make. I think practicing makeable spares is huge, especially when entering the professional level. It's something you gotta you gotta be able to do. You gotta make the spares. The third thing for on lane 
training I think I have to improve on is my knowledge of bowling balls because again competing week in and week out on tour you have to have the right arsenal and I've been throwing Storm Global and Roto Grip balls exclusively for a while now so I think it's time I really dig in and do some more research on balls so you're not wasting time you're not wasting shots when you're bowling you know what you see and what you need to do to adjust from that equipment wise as well as versatility wise so i think those are three main things that will help me succeed on lane off lane not that this is necessarily bowling related it is but i think again trying to capitalize on my youtube channel and trying to continue to grow this channel because with going on tour i will be doing weekly vlogs and just kind of behind the scenes of pwba tournaments because People don't really see that, you know? Like, there's not really any YouTubers on tour that give you a behind the scenes, day in the life type videos. So I'm really excited to be doing that. And mental, I'm actually using a book right now as a tripod because I forgot my tripod. Think Like a Monk by Jay Shetty. And that is another thing I wanna to try to improve on in the new year is continuing to read and gain knowledge off lane that can translate not only to on lane but just in life in general trying to become a better human we all want that i hope sports psychology books um, other lifestyle books again that can translate to on lane i think that'll be very beneficial because the difference between a top tier athlete and a professional athlete is really just mental game it's really important and that's one thing which Shaw state has really taught me is to focus on your mental game as much as or more than your physical game. In, in the kitchen, in the gym, trying to continue to be a healthy person, stay active, feel my body. Because again, on tour, in college bowling, you're on your feet a lot, you're bowling a lot of games. You need to make sure your body is in the right shape to do so. That kind of concludes the process goals and the outcome goals. And I'm really excited to enter 2022 with great vibes. Well, that's weird to say, 2022. Excited to continue documenting my training on my YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram for more content and let me know what your goals are for 2022 in the comments.